Hey, it's back and we're joined on the set by Byron Bay band Polaroid fame. Let's welcome Damo, Zoe and Frankie with us. Hello. Hello. Hey, How's it going? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. Good, thanks. Well, thank now, you. in my hot little hands, I have the debut album and the single, We Live Your Life, obviously the name of the album as well. Uh, what's that all about? Well, I know it's a CD, but yes, what's, it's what, a, it's what's an album. Sign signify We Live Your Life? We Live Your Life. Um, it sort of came about because um, we sort of uh, work a lot. So in, as well as juggling our music. Um, and so the song, it, it's sort of like you're, you're flirting with the greener side of things, you know, the, the yeah. dreams and, the, and where you'd like to be as opposed to on your nine to five grind. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's sort of, yeah, it's, it's sort of this little sort of dreamy element. To you're all trying to find something to feel alive. Yeah. Apart yeah, just from just, as Frankie said, getting caught up work in the monotony. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, the grind. Day, yeah. yeah, which is, you know, we all do it. Exactly. But it's good it's to, you know, done. you've got an outlet there. And your sound, I mean, this is what we were trying to tr put you into a box before, because you, you don't really have just a genre. You're sort of a bit of everything. Yeah. Pop, rock, bit of 80s. Bit of 80s. Bit of 80s yeah. Um, yeah, a bit of Aussie, sort of early Aussie rock and stuff, I guess, to mm. a degree. Bit pretty, of synth, bit of bluesy Australian guitar. Australian yeah, we're pretty true to what we sort of grew rock. up listening to, you know, just sort of that just... We're not actually trying, it's just sort of, that's what sort of bleeds out of us. Um, I think yeah, we it's, all it's sort of bring a different sort of style to the band in a way, and so when it comes together, it's kind of its, it's us. own thing. Yeah. And so you were saying that you, you like get a lot from, I guess, all of the, the stuff that you used to listen to. What was the first album that you bought? Wham. Oh, not even a hesitation. Bam! <laughs> Purple Rain, Prince. Prince? I was a bit of a Johnny Diesel fan. Oh, yeah. you go going Australian yeah. all the way. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, That's Diesel's not, awesome. Support the locals. Yeah. I, I know. I've got pretty early sort of memories of my sister and brother because my brother was a bit of a punk head and my sister was into Bob Dylan. So, mm. um, And then my brother actually introduced me to Jimi Hendrix. So oh, that wow. was kind of an all. The love went of Fair began. Didn't yeah. your brother kick in your wall with his dog, Martin? Oh, he did stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great brother. Punky. Dad from Surfboard with a hunting knife. Oh, he's, he's, he's a rock star. He is. On your team. <laughs> he, actually, he actually doesn't help us, Karen. You know, he's not like our roadie or anything like that now either. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess as a group, how did you get together? Uh, well, originally, because uh, um, there's a couple of the band not here, Mitch isn't here, and me and him were um, studying at the Conservatorium in Lismore. Yeah. And we just had assignments to do. So that sort of started from that. Like we didn't actually go, we're going to start a band. Yeah. It was just like, oh, we'll jam on some songs and hopefully get, get a, some release. Mm. Hopefully get an A for this assignment. And yeah. uh, <laughs> did you get the A? I don't know. I never actually, I can't remember. We, got, we, we, we didn't finish okay. the degree, but we have a band. We do, yes. We do now, yes. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. All right, guys, we're going to finish up with a bit of an unusual question. We ask all of uh, our musicians this. We find oh. out the people behind the musicians. Kick in the nuts or cuddle? It's a moral question. You ready oh. for it? Hypothetically, if you met Chuck Norris, would you kick him in the nuts or cuddle him? I'd have to cuddle Chuck Norris. Cuddle? Yeah, yeah. he'd probably smack me down and beat me senseless. But That's all right, you give it a go. Yeah, because if I kicked him in the nuts, well, he'd probably still smack me down and beat me senseless. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cuddle. cuddle. I would kick him in the nuts only because I was a really fast runner in, in, in you high could, school. Uh, <laughs> get so away. I'd get away. Got for, long legs. For about 100 metres and then I'd start slowing down. Chuck yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You'd never run Chuck Norris. There's no way. <laughs> you know, someone's got to kick him in the nuts. Okay. True. And what about Humphrey Bebear? This is another one. I'd See. kick him in the nuts. Uh, funny story, actually. Frank, I don't know. But, well, it's a different network. But Prime Possum, he's a bit yeah. of a oh. local icon up in um, Northern Rivers. And uh, Frankie once dressed up as Prime Possum. Did you kick party. Frankie in the nuts? Uh, no, no we took photos and laughed. It was great. Right? I actually went around the whole <laughs> staff party trying to hump people. Yeah, oh, dressed okay. as prime it's possible. Good. It, was kind of it was so sweaty in there and hot. I was, I was probably, it was funny, but I, when I took it off, I was just sweating like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Humphrey, I guess, I'd kick him in the nuts. But what would you yeah. do um, to Big Dog? I mean, prime possum. Big dog. Humphrey? I'd definitely, I'd definitely kick prime possum. Would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially <laughs> if you were in it, Frankie. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We're about to play your new clip, Bowie's New Jacket. Uh, explain that to us. The, well, the song name actually has nothing to do with the, with the song itself. <laughs> it's, um, we didn't, we, we're pretty funny when we come up with song names. Um, sometimes, or you, Damo, come up with it. Yeah, we didn't have a name for it. It was a new song, and I just picked a few random words. Bowie's New I don't know what Jacket. I was yeah, and, and it stuck. stuck. And it sort of stuck. And we, we couldn't find a better name for it. So we tried heaps of different names because everyone was kind of like, mm, Bowie, mm, I don't know. And we just, at the end of the day, we just went, oh, it's, 
it's been Bose and Jacket for a while now. It is what it is. It is what it is, and you can't. That's how it's born. It's like picking up a dog from a pound. You know, you can't rename it if it knows its name. Yes, So, what is the track about if it's not about a jacket? Well, yeah, okay. So it's about. It's kind of about the you know something when you're in a darker spot in your mind and you've got little demons running around and and it's kind of like the the balance of your sanity. Okay, excellent. So we're finding out the inner workings of Polaroid fame's mind yes. right now. <laughs> it's Bowie's jacket on landed. Bowie's new jacket on landed. <laughs> Bowie's old jacket. Bowie's old jacket. It doesn't really matter what jacket it is. It's, a it's got nothing to do <laughs> with it. What if it's Bowie's jacket? It's like leather or corduroy or. Um, what, 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 what colour is this jacket? What is it? Pink? Cream. It's gold sequins. Gold sequins. <laughs> I like that.